So people are actually scared because the Chinese New Year's are coming and they don't know what to do. But if you stay tuned and actually watch this video, right? Hopefully you watch the video. But if you watch this video, I'm literally going to show you some steps that you can actually take to actually not be in a position of not making money um, for, the, for the one to four weeks of Chinese New Year. So let's go. A lot of people are actually so scared and skeptical and, you know, worrying about the Chinese New Year's. But if you think about it, this is actually the best time to take your business to the next level. Now, I'm actually going to break down a few things that you can actually do, right? Uh, let me actually go to my documents. So, a few things that you can do. And if you actually notice, Chinese New Year's start February 5th, right? And, um, you know, it's going to be actually hard for a lot of drop to actually get their products to their customers due to the fact that okay of course my supplier is taking a break he's not going to be in office and i don't even know why their how their new year's is that long um but this actually happened to me last year and i'm going to tell you some things to stay away from and how to actually avoid it this year and how to take advantage right so first off first we know that the new year start february 5th right so that's today's the 23rd so that's a week from now that's actually next week if i'm not mistaken and you really don't you know, if you're actually a beginner in e-commerce, you really don't want to actually scale up so fast due to the fact that you've never been in this position before, right? So you actually want to actually stay where you're at, right? Just pause, slow down, scale down if you can. Um, one thing that I will say is do not, do not scale in February. If you haven't, like if you haven't really scaled up yet in your store, uh, do not scale up in February. Another thing that you really want to focus on is if you are scaling up in February, which is totally fine. Um, because I won't lie, I scale up in February due to the fact, I'm going to actually show you guys this later, um, you can find suppliers in the United States that can actually ship to your customers. It's not just China, it's not just um, Pakistan and you know all those other countries, right? So you can scale up, but if you do not have a U.S.-based supplier, don't do it, right? You're going to put yourself in trouble. It's going to put you in high refund risk because some, some customers actually want their products the same week right and i love focusing on two to five or two to seven days shipping um, when it comes to me selling on e-commerce i mean when it comes to me drop shipping so if you're not doing big numbers that's cool right what i will suggest honestly is that stay where you're at right don't try to uh, put yourself in a position where you are doing high numbers and you know it's so hard for you to actually fulfill those orders. It's so hard for you to get your, your products to your customer. Uh, it's so hard for you for customer service, especially if you don't have BAs, um, which means virtual assistants for the newbies that are actually watching this video. Um, it's going to be actually hard for you to actually get stuff situated. So I'm going to actually scroll down. If you don't have a winner, right? Let's just say you do not have a winner, right? This is the time to actually master your skills. The reason why is because there is going to be a lot of advertisers, right? not me but it's going to be a lot of advertisers out there that's going to actually be scaling down their campaigns and if you think about it facebook um i focus more on facebook ads so i'm going to be talking more about facebook but facebook is actually like a auction right um it's an auction based platform and what it is is that there are multiple advertisers out there that are literally um manual bidding right and what that means is that they're basically scaling up you know they're spending a higher amount of budget than an average person will spend uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, a product that's actually doing numbers. So these are when a lot of advertisers are going to be scaling down their campaigns um, because, you know, a lot of their suppliers are probably coming from China or it might be coming from different, um, you know, platforms like uh, dropshipping platforms like Wish and DHgate and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So these are times when you come in and master your skills. You start testing campaigns. If you had a product that you felt like that was going to sell, you start running campaigns on them because, you know, Majority of times when a product don't sell a few things, right? Number one, it can be that, you know, there's an advertiser out there that's literally spending tons and tons and tons of thousands uh, putting that particular product in people's faces or in a particular audience faces that you probably pick and, you know, they're manual bidding, right? So they have a higher chance of getting a sale than you. The second thing is that, you know, you want to come in and take advantage, right? If you know that, well, I'm telling you right now, but if you know there's an advertiser out there that's literally going to scale down, which, like I said, 70%, 60% will, 
um, you want to come in and master your skills. You want to start testing different objectives, right? You want to start testing different conversion ads, right? You want to start testing multiple things to find your winner because once you find your winner, you know that, hey, this ad is a winning campaign. I'm going to dominate this in March, right? I'm going to scale this campaign out the roof. I'm going to leave it at a $5, 10 $15 daily budget and, you know, get these sales in, make sure that, you know, I message my customers, letting them know, like, hey, it's going to take a few weeks. We give you 5% off on your next order. Um, you know, you want to give your customers some type of um, coupon, right? Some type of gift card, something that will make them feel happy because, you know, hey, this product is in high demand. Um, it's going to take a while because they don't know nothing about Chinese New Year's. Um, you do because why? You are a marketer. You are a business owner. You're a store owner, right? So that is what I'll focus on when it comes, if, if I was in that position. Um, another thing is, you know, Purchase of courses you've been wanting to purchase, right? If you know that there are courses out there that is literally going to teach you how to actually scale up your ads, how to actually find trendy products, how, I mean, it doesn't even have to be from me, right? But the more that you learn, the more money you earn, and the more dedicated and focused you actually be in your business, right? Because to this day, I still purchase courses. I still have mentors that, you know, I spent thousands and thousands of dollars a day. Even though I'm doing six, seven figures a year, I'm still investing into my knowledge, right? I'm still getting more and more knowledge, more wisdom on things that I don't know. You know, nobody can know everything. It's literally impossible. So watch YouTube videos, right? Follow some people out there that's literally going to show you some secret strategies. Like I love watching Ari uh, videos, right? He's good, right? I love watching the, um, it's tons of people, man. Like I can literally name, I, I can't really think of them because I subscribe to their channel. But I go there, watch some of their videos, and then boom, you know, get creative, test it out. If it works, it works. If not, I keep testing. If not, just let it go, All right? So another thing is perfect your store. This is the time to actually optimize your store. There might be some things in your, you know, in your dropshipping store that is not optimized all the way. Number one, it can be your photos. It might be trash photos. You might be getting your photos from AliExpress, and you're not actually um, getting them in a high-resolution quality. Um, it can be that your store is everywhere. It's not categorized properly it can be anything this is when you come and take advantage in your business right another thing like i said is you can still drop ship you can still dominate um you know the chinese new year with finding products filtering out you know telling you know aliexpress look i want products in the usa right and i'm literally going to show you guys that real quick um you know if we are just let's just say we are looking in the phone and accessories right um, what's going to actually happen is that we can literally go to the right and where it says ship from, instead of China, we're going to say ship from the United States, right? So once we do that, we can just scroll down and say, Hey, let me just find a good product because these screen cases are actually, everybody sells that, which there's nothing wrong with it. Um, let's just say this iPhone USB charger, right? We want to get it shipped from the United States and boom, click the color. It's going to take seven days to actually get to my customer, which, like I said, I love staying at two to five or two to seven days. Now, if I go to China, it's literally going to be 20 to 38 fucking days to get to my customer, which that can actually cause me charge back. And if you think about it, you know, you guys got to start being cheap. Sometimes it's not even really about the price point because four dollars for shipping, which is faster shipping, uh, plus a dollar thirty eight. That's five or well, six bucks compared to if I'm just getting free shipping. Uh, with a dollar thirty-eight, like it's under, it's okay to actually maximize in your profits, but sometimes you have to be reasonable because if you're selling a product for dollar eighty-three, and you know, if you're a supplier selling the tea for dollar eighty-three, and you're selling it for nine ninety-nine, um, you got to think about it. Yeah, it's dope, but at the same time, is your customers going to be happy? Are they going to come back and buy? Right? Or you know, are they going to charge back once they get the product? It's all type of weird stuff that can actually happen to your business. And these are things that actually happened to me two years ago when I, well, yeah, two years ago when I did not know what to do during the Chinese New Year's. So, you know, it's okay to, like, you got to think about it. Apple, even though you're probably not branded like Apple, but Apple sells their charges for like $29, $30, right? This is a dollar eighty-three. So if you come in and, you know, $4.20 for shipping, a dollar eighty-three. if you come in and say, look, I'm selling this for $14.99, you're still in profit mode. Literally, you're still in profit mode, right? So that's really it. Um, like I said, don't be scared because Chinese New Year is just not going to be here forever. 
but you still can come in, take your business to the next level, make a lot of money, find U.S. suppliers, master your skills, get some trainings, learn a skill set that can really take your business to the next level. Now, before I actually leave, if you're watching this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, right? Hit the subscribe button. Um, hit a like if you love this video. Drop some comments below if you have any questions when it comes to e-commerce or for the next video I'm going to make. Um, I have so much going on right now. If you guys can tell, my room is kind of like messed up because we're moving to a bigger spots. So, um, and we're dropping our new e-commerce accelerators 2.0 course, right? Um, it's coming out around February, but we do have a waiting list because we're literally only bringing in 25 people. This course is literally going to show you all my secret strategies that I have been using when it comes to e-commerce, all my secret strategies that I have learned from my mentors that have been bringing me low cost for purchases, how to create looking like audiences, how to build your store, how I automated my store, how I'm using a scheduling system um, for my VAs, literally every single fucking thing that you can freaking imagine is going to be in that course. And the cool thing about it is, is that it's literally a monthly subscription, right? And the, another good thing about it is that this course is literally going to be updated with content every fucking week. So, you know, once you get in, you're in. Um, like I said, there's going to be a lot of valuable information. And this is the last course I'm probably going to do for the year due to the fact that I'm, you know, putting this in a position of people to win. So we're only bringing 25 people. So join the waiting list below. If not, you're going to miss out on a lot of, lot of, lot of knowledge. Love you guys. See you guys later. Peace.